What's happening people? I'm back in the kitchen again and as you guys will well know, next week we're doing a budget week. So this weekend I'm going to be trying some of the stuff in my freezer that I've got um, that I need to get out before budget week starts. And actually, it's a bit of a treat, a bit of a, a, bit of a, naughty, a bit of naughty food these next couple. Um, they are new from Iceland and this one, well you've seen the thumbnail and the title so you know what we're having. We're having this King Kebab, King Kebab House Donna Kebab Meat. It says ready cooked and sliced. So I'm presuming you just microwave it. So you can microwave it or you can pan fry. I think I'm going to microwave it. Now, this is a huge bag. I did try to buy, on my order, I tried to buy the um, 400 gram bag. No, 300, what was it? 350 gram bag? Let me see. 350 gram bag. I ordered the 350 gram bag and it was actually four quid on its own, but it's three for a ten or three part of the three for ten pound range, which is a lot of stuff is in Iceland. But they substituted it for this 750 gram bag because it was out of stock. So I didn't have to pay the extra, but if you did want a massive bag like this, it would cost you six quid. Now that's that is the price of a medium doner kebab and a pit of bread at our at my local kebab house. And there ain't 750 grams worth of kebab meat in it. I've got a few Warburton's just soft pitters, so I'm just gonna make one, just to, just to, just to try it, because I don't know how if it's nice or not. Um, I do have a bit of lettuce and a bit of tomatoes and onions, so I might, I might do that, I might put, I might put a bit of that in, we'll see. Just try the meat, make a kebab, and the, the, bad, the worst part of this video is probably gonna be looking on the back and seeing what's in it, because when you go to a takeaway, you don't think, mm, what's in this kebab? Let's be honest, we don't know what's in them kebabs. <laughs> uh, so it's normally a, a meal I'd get after a few beers, but we'll see. It does say on the front there, produced using beef, chicken, lamb and mutton, then seasoned with our unique blend of spices. So let's see exactly what's in this box, in this, in this pack. And then we'll have a kebab. So this is the big value pack, like I said, 750 grams, and it does say on the front there, you can microwave or pan fry. So, oh, it's gonna be difficult, this. Okay, we're gonna look at the ingredients first. I'll probably turn that light off, probably make it easier to see. So, of the, um, it's, it's a bag of meat, but it's actually only 58% meat. And of that 58%, it's 56% beef, 33% chicken, 6% lamb, and 5% mutton. Now, I thought donna meat was lamb and lamb meat, really. Kebab meat. And this one is 56% beef and 33% chicken. Mechanically separated meat. Oof, that sounds grim. Soya protein. That's what they top everything up with, and that's not a great taste, that. So I'm hoping that that's um, faded out with all the uh, spices that you can see on there. Um... You've got wheat and soya as the allergens. You've got mixed spices, onions, fibre, citrus fibre, flavour enhancer. May contain mustard. So, and that's a nutritional information. Per 100 grams as sold is 298 calories, 17 grams of protein. It does say, don't have about meat, cooked and sliced, seasoned beef, chicken, lamb and mutton donna meat. Very simple. Um, it's actually made in Essex for kismet kebabs it's halal and yeah it's got a uk sticker so it's actually british uh, producing uk using eu and non-eu meat by kismet kebabs so it, ways to cook best results cook from frozen this is microwave from frozen remove a portion based on half a pack i'm not putting half a pack in blow my neck 300 odd grams of <laughs> Um, spread onto a microwave plate and heat on full power, three minutes cooking time. Pull apart any frozen meat, spread and heat for two minutes, allow to stand for warm. So, this is the, uh, this is the test, isn't it? Let's see what this kebab meat looks like. I mean, of course it is frozen, so you're not expecting too much here. Oh, straight away you can smell that. You can smell and herbs and spices in this bag. 
looks a bit cardboardy, a little bit like sandpaper. But we're going to microwave it and give it a go. So there is absolutely boatloads in there. Could get a massive naan bread and fill it up. <laughs> right. Let's get some on a plate and get it in the microwave. So it says just you can pull up, pull the frozen bits apart. So me personally, I think that's going to be plenty of that. That'll do. I mean, I've not even touched the bag there really. So I bet there's not even a pound's worth there. So that's not even one sixth of the bag, but we'll get it in microwave. See what it looks like when it comes out. So we've got these Warburton's soft pitters. These are really nice, really nice and soft. Just exactly how I like my pitter breads. You don't have to warm up or anything and they just open up. Are they used to? Oh yeah, there we go. They just open up nicely for you. So there we go. Down one side so you can easily get your, your stuff in there. So let's load up this kebab. So that's what's going in my kebab there. I've got a little bit of red onion, a cucumber and some lettuce. Now I know that they put cabbage in normally and, and a kebab, I'm not a big fan of the cabbage. So I'm gonna leave that out. And for the sauce, I'm gonna go red hot sauce. Only kidding. I'm going Crucials yogurt and mint as always. This stuff is the best ever. So start loading this up now. So lather this. That's been three minutes in for the uh, the bonne meat, so we're gonna lather this sauce in, in the inside there. Look at that. I'll probably put some more on at the end there as well. We'll get some. Uh, look at that. Get some lettuce in there and some cucumber. And last but not least, the red onion. Absolutely fantastic. Right, top that with Donami, and we're good to go. Right, let's have a look at this. Donami after three minutes. Actually, it smells pretty much like a takeaway Donami. This stuff, and it just says pull apart any um, exit. I think that's nearly done, to be fair. I don't, I'm not sure it needs the extra two minutes. Let me just... Uh, Pull this apart. I can find a fork. There we go. Doesn't actually look all that bad. I'm gonna just mix it up a bit. Some some bits are. I think this is done. I don't think the five minutes in the microwave is required. I think this is done. It's red hot everywhere. And yeah, I'm gonna just leave that. It's already cooked, so you're only just warming it up, aren't you? So there we go, that's the donna meat. So let's get it in this kebab. Oh. <laughs> It's bloody roasting. Wow. To be fair, I probably made too much done of me. I could have probably got two out of this. Would you put the salad on the top? Or would you uh, would you go the way I've gone? Obviously you put more sauce over. Right then. Let's give this a taste. Woo okay, so it's all important taste time now. There is a bit of uh, a bit of fat on the on the plate that came out of the microwave, and I'm just going to try a piece of this donut meat. Look at that. To be fair to this donut meat, right? That looks exactly like the donut meat that you get at my local kebab house, and it smells like it as well. And it tastes like it. Wow. Now, I understand that not, the Donna Kebab is not for everyone. However, I don't mind it, me. I especially like it after a few beers. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at that grease, though. 
it's, ha it's half grease, half water. I don't mind that. Right then, well, it's time to taste this kebab. Here we go. This is a belter, isn't it? Look at that kebab. Like I say, probably not even a pound worth of kebab meat there out of that bag. Absolutely huge is that bag. If you are like, if you drink at home or you like a kebab, just normally a kebab anyway, this this might be something worth trying because it tastes nice. And I know that this is going to be nice because the doner meat was delicious. These soft pitters, nice flour on the edges, really good. So I'm going to just dive in like a sandwich. Mmm. <laughs> These pitters are better than the pitters at the, um, at the takeaway. They just fall apart. Wow. I'm a big fan of this. Wow. It's delicious. It tastes exactly like Donna kebab meat from the takeaway. I'm really shocked at this. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. King Kebab House. I'm gonna give that a 9.5. That stuff is fantastic. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried it, or if you haven't tried it, maybe give it a go. Unbelievable. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.